Hi, so this video is just a test I've undertaken to try to see how much mains interference I'm creating from my own house. So it's a mains off test uh, and running on a on a battery. See how we get on. So just as a reminder, I've got two uh, main HF antennas. The red line is the off centre of a dipole from the ridge of the house to the tree. And the yellow cross is where the verticals sit, either the DX Commander in its classic form or me using the base for top band and 80 meter verticals. So I've got these large type 31 ferrite clamp on cores in the shack. These are on all the main supplies, there's three of these. Very useful because they open up uh, and you don't have to break a cable to, to put them on. Cable tied tightly shut so there's no gap at the join because uh, that would undermine the, the choking properties. Uh, and like I say, there's three of these. There's one over there uh, and there's another one. I didn't think I had any mains born interference in the shack uh, and putting these on I saw no difference whatsoever but they're there for belt and braces uh, and you might find a catalogue in the link to the video. I'm going to start by taking readings on the main station rig which is the AC uh, FDDX 5000 um, and this is running on mains electricity uh, with those cores already on the, on the feed line. Uh, so here we are on top band um, with S9, bouncing around S9, uh, background noise, 80 metres and again making sure that there's no uh, attenuation or preamps in well other than standard amp one. So that's about 8 to 9 I would say, 40 metres, about S7 maybe a little bit below 30 meters again checking as you're going through that there aren't any uh, changes in the filters it's about s5 on 30 is that about right yeah five i'm just making a note in a pad 20 meters just bouncing around s4 four to five i would say 17 meters that's just a one it's on the bottom uh, 15 meters same again 12 meters same again i'm just writing these down one i'm just putting them down as a one uh, and 10 meters again check this door preamps in for S2, 1 to 2. So now um, I'll turn off the power, uh, connect the 991A up to a battery, and then uh, we can go mains free and see uh, see how they compare. Uh, and I'll swap the antennas over. There's two antennas plugged into the 5000, so I'll have to do a bit of juggling on the on the 991A. And I'll, I'll just double check on the 991A that the background levels are the same uh, before the power goes off. So I'll swap them over now. So here we are with the 991A running on the leisure battery. Uh, it's on the low band aerial, so we're on top band here. The house electricity is still on. Uh, and you can see there, it's still bouncing around S9, uh, which it was uh, on the main rig on the mains. So I'll go and kill the power, uh, and then uh, have a whiz through the bands and see what the difference is. So just bear with me while I go and turn the mains off. So here we are with the mains off now so we just run on the battery uh, there's nothing else in the house powered up um so their top band still the same bouncing around nine and if i change to 80 let's adjust the camera again uh that's bouncing around eight which it was yeah eight to nine that's what it was doing before so I'll just swap the uh, antenna over. I've only got one antenna socket on this for HF when I need to use two antennas. So just bear with me while I'll swap over. So now we're on the other antenna. So if I just get on to 40 meters, I can't remember to adjust this camera because I put my finger in the way. So that's bouncing around six to seven. Uh, and I said approximately seven before. 30 meters. About S3, um, 
think there was about this five before. And again, making sure that the settings are the same in terms of attenuation and preamps. So uh, 20 meters before, I said it was four to five. And that looks like it's dropped to S3. So a little bit of an improvement there, I think. Um, 18 meters. That's down to about one, uh, which it was before. We're obviously not going to get any improvement on these. Same with 15 meters, 12 meters. 10 meters was one to two. It's about the same. So there's only maybe one or two bands, 20 and 30. Now, I currently don't use 30. Um, and that was four or five before, but it's about the same now. Maybe, maybe it hasn't changed. 20 meters, S3. And that was four to five. So marginal improvement on 20 meters. So I'm just going to uh, swap things around a bit just to double check. Um, because the idea is that I will go around the house turning circuits on uh, finding uh, where the noise is coming from but there's only marginal noise improvement on one band uh, so I'll just uh, I'll just do some checks well, I watched some of the earlier video back um, on the 5000 measurements and I'm not that convinced that this improvements on 20 is that significant so I'm going to leave the video running uh, go downstairs and turn the power back on uh, and see what the difference is on this rig running on the battery. So I'll go and do that now. Yeah, I watched the video back and like you, you can see there's there's no difference. There's a few spikes when the power comes back on and the washing machine and everything else kicks in. Uh, but it soon settles back on uh, on S3. So if you've got a battery, it's worth doing a mains off test. The idea is you turn the circuits back on in the house and then go around the individual sockets trying to find out what the noise is. It hasn't worked for me. There's nothing to be gained, I can see. Uh, but uh, speaking to other people, there have been the individual items in their houses that have caused a lot of noise. So it's so worth doing if you can. Hope you found this video useful.